Hi guys, I hope you guys are fine. In this video, we are going to talk about a default catch handler. Now we are talking about exception handling and in exception handling, we will handle a exception with the help of a try block, a throw statement and a catch block. Now, generally what happens in exception handling is a statement which can lead to an error or an exception is put in the try block. Then um, exception is thrown with the help of a throw statement. And what I need to do in response to that error condition at runtime or the exception is mentioned in the catch block. Now, we have seen so far that if I have an integer type of exception thrown, it's got by a catch block containing an integer. Similarly, a character type of exception which is thrown is caught with the help of a catch block containing a character. But what happens when you throw an exception which is not caught by any catch block? Well, the default catch handler comes into play at that moment. This comes to our rescue. So the default catch handler looks like this. Catch three dots in the parenthesis. These three dots are referred to as ellipses. And this default catch handler is capable of catching any type of exception which is thrown. Let's quickly look at a programmatic example which will make the things clear. We're going to keep our example very simple. My file is going to be called as a default catch.cpp and it would be available in our GitHub repository, the link to whom is present in the description. So let's start hash include io stream using namespace std. Inside the main function, I'm going to take a variable a whose value is 10. I have a try block, I quickly check. If a's value is 10, throw a. Otherwise, I should throw, let's throw a double type value, 10.20, right? Let's have two blocks, two catch blocks, since we can do that. Integer x simply says uh, caught integer exception. What we are going to do next is I'm also going to have another type of a catch block. Now this is my default catch block, three dots or ellipses. And I'm going to say default catch handler. Let's quickly run this. So what I'm expecting is in this program, the value of A is 10. So if you look at it, A is 10, it should throw A if it is an integer. Since it's an integer, this catch block will come into play. Let's uh, Quickly compile the program g plus plus default catch dot cpp got lucky there no errors a dot out so it's trying caught integer exception let's uh, change the value of a to 20 if I do that a is not 10 it should come into the else block it should throw 10.20 so I should come into this catch block which is a default catch handler it should print default catch handler let's quickly do that a dot out and default catch handler. So whenever you have an exception to which you have not uh, defined a particular catch block such as this, double, there is no catch which contains double. So default catch handler comes into play. I hope you liked the video. It was educational to you. Thank you. Be safe. Goodbye.